Hi parents, welcome back. In this uh, video, we are going to go through some challenging questions from Henry Park 2021 uh, P6 Math Brilliant Paper. And as usual, we are going to focus on teaching your child how to identify the right method to solve work problems. So without further ado, let's uh, jump to paper 2. I would like to go through this question from paper 2, which is... Uh, let me see... Okay, let's go through question 10. Alright, from paper 2. So in this question, Mrs. Tan baked blueberry muffins and cinnamon muffins in a ratio of 3 to 1. So, so once again, let's underline the keywords. Alright, so blueberry to cinnamon is 3 to 1. And she sold 50% of all her muffins. 5 over 6 of the muffins sold were blueberry. So it means that the rest will be the cinnamon muffins, okay? Right, and in the end, she has uh, 36 cinnamon muffins left. The question asks, how many blueberry muffins did she have left? Alright, so by looking at this question, first of all, let's try to identify what is the right method to use to solve this question. Should your child use model drawing? Okay, let's see, okay? If your child will use model drawing, right, obviously you have to draw the model for blueberry to cinnamon, which is three units for blueberry, and one unit for cinnamon, correct? Okay, but however, right, over here will be quite tough to draw, to continue drawing because she's going to sell 50% of all muffins, all right? And out of the 50%, right, five over six are blueberry and one over six are cinnamon. All right, so how are we going to cut the blueberry and cinnamon, okay? There are too many, there are too many moving parts and, uh, and a relationship to consider, right? So therefore, this question right is not suitable to use model drawing okay in fact the better method to solve this question right is to draw a table okay so let's draw a bca table right so once again what does bca stand for it is before change after okay b stand for before c stand for change and a stand for after so let's write down the ratio between the blueberry to the cinnamon and we have the total. Alright, so at first the blueberry is 3, cinnamon is 1, and the total is 4, right? Because 3 plus 1 gives us 4. And remember, right, she sold 50% of her muffins, right? Why is 50% of 4? Yes, it's 2 units, correct? But however, right, can we cut these 2 units into 6? Yes, you can, but it's going to be a bit tedious, right? Because you end, end up with decimals. Okay? Why do we have to cut the two units two unit into six, right? Because out of these two units, right, five over six are muffins. Do you understand what I mean? So therefore, we actually have to multiply this by three. Make sense? Right? Because I want to make this to be a multiple of six. Okay? So you, you, when, you want, when you want to multiply this by three, it means that at the top, everything must dump three. Alright, so you get 9, 3, and 12. Okay, so I know this is a bit confusing. Let me repeat again. Why do we have the dump 3? Okay, because, right, 4 divided by 2 give us 2 units. Okay, 50% of 4 is 2 units. And to cut 2 units into 6 is going to be a bit tedious. You end up with decimals. I'm not, I'm not saying that it can't be done. You can still do it. But just that there will be decimals in the units over here. And we try to avoid decimals, okay? We prefer whole numbers. So that's the reason why we times 3. To all the ratios here, all right, you get 9 to 3 to 12. And now, 12 divided by 2, right? 50% is half, right? Remember? 12 divided by 2 will give us 6. So we can change this 2 to become the 6. Okay? And out of these 6 units, 5 units are blueberry. Okay, out of the six units here, five units are blueberry. So what is the change for the cinnamon? Yes, it's simply just one unit. Makes sense because five plus one gives us six. And of course you can put the units over here, okay? All right, so now let's find the after. So nine minus five will give us four units. 
3 minus 1 give us 2 units and 12 minus 6 give us 6 units. Okay, so from here it'll be very straightforward, right? Because in the end, she has 36 cinnamon muffins left. So therefore, 2 units equals to 36. So 1 unit will be 36 divided by 2, you get equals to 18. And to find the blueberry left, we know that it's 4 units. So we take 4 times 18, and the answer is 70, 72 muffins left. Alright, so basically to summarize this question, this question is not so suitable to use a model drawing. The reason is once again, there are too many moving parts, right? Because we've got to consider 50% of all the muffins, and out of 50%, we must also consider that 5 over 6 of these 50% are actually blueberry, okay? So it's very tedious to cut the models out, right? So for this question, we actually use a table instead. Alright, so a lot of parents always tell me that, you know, my child is very weak in model drawing, that's why you can't solve the word problems. Actually, model drawing is not the cure to solve paper 2 word problems. Your child actually needs to know a wide range of methods, right, like models, algebra, units and parts, grouping and assumption, okay? And your child also needs to know which is the right method to use by spotting the keywords in a question. Alright, let me just jump to a uh, question 16. Alright, so this is a pretty tough one also. Okay, so let's read the question first. Blue stickers were sold in packets of 15 each, while green stickers were sold in packets of 40 each. Rene bought 5 packets of blue stickers and some packets of green stickers, while Fatima brought 13 packets of blue stickers and some packets of green stickers. And both girls brought the same total number, okay? That's a very important keyword, yeah? So both girls brought the same total number of packets of stickers. For part A, the question asks how many more green stickers did Rene buy than Fatima? Alright, so this question right, is actually very similar to the 2021 PSLE uh, coin question, which is the last one. Okay, I've actually made a similar video on the PSLE 2021 coin question. Right, if, if you want to look, you can actually look at the at my channel. You can find the video over there. Okay, so this question is pretty much similar because of this keyword same number. All right, so first of all, let's try the model. Let's draw some models to identify uh where where the green and the blue lies on. Okay, so for Rene, okay, these are the total number of uh, boxes of sticker that she buy. The packets of sticker, okay, not boxes, huh? And because Fatima, she bought the same number of packets, so these two models are the same. Alright, Rene brought five packets of blue. So the blue, she brought five packets, and the rest are green. Correct, that's what Rene. While for Fatima, she brought 13 packets of blue, and the rest are green. Alright, so by looking at this model here, can you make a guess who buy more green stickers? Obviously, the answer is Rene, right? And why does Rene buy more green stickers than Fatima? Because if Rene buy lesser blue stickers, then obviously she has to buy more green stickers, right? Because in the end, they buy the same number of packets of stickers. Do you understand what I mean? Alright, so look at the difference between the blue packets 13 minus 5 give us 8 okay if the difference between the blue packets is 8 then obviously the difference between the green packets must also be 8 do you understand what i mean and again the reason behind this is because they bought the same total number right so the difference between the blue is 8 the difference in the green is also 8 packets all right and since the question asks how many more green stickers, the answer is not 8 because this is a packet, remember? And remember, right, one packet consists of how many green stickers? 40. So for part A, you should take 8 times 40. And the answer is 320. Okay, that's the answer for part A. And now for part B. The question says that Rene used 3 fifths of a green stickers and Fatima used half of a green stickers. 
They both had 452 green stickers left all together. How many blue and green stickers did Fatima buy all together? Alright, so look at this question again. Do you think we should, shoot, we should still continue drawing model? Alright, if you want to draw model, right, we have to cut this green into 5 units. But however, right, Fatima, right, we got to cut into half. And we can't really tell this half and this five what is the relationship between them, right? Okay, because they are not the same, right? If you cut this into five units, and this must cut into two parts, the units and parts, they are different. Can you follow me? All right, so for this question, right, it's actually not wise to use model anymore. Okay, in fact, we had to use units and parts to solve this question. All right, so how do we use units and parts? Okay, very simple. We let this Rene over here, the green, the green sticker be 5 units and we let the Fatima green stickers be 2 parts. Okay, and once again, why is it units and parts? Right, because the units over here, if you cut into 5, right, is different from the parts over here, okay? The units and parts are different. Okay, let me just use a different color so you can see more clearly. So for the green, we're going to cut this into 5. And for the green for Fatima, you kind of half, right? As you can see, the relationship is not very clear, right? Between the units and parts. So therefore, a better method to use is to use uh, units and parts instead. Okay, so to solve for two unknowns, you need to form two equations, right? In order, in order to get two unknowns, you need to form two equations. And we know the first equation is 5 units minus 2 parts equals to 320, right? Because there's a difference between the green stickers between uh, Rene and Fatima. Okay, 320. And how do we form the second equation? By looking at this sentence over here, okay? In the end, it has 452 green stickers left. Okay, so tell me, out of 5, Rene used 3. So what's the leftover? 5 minus 3 give us 2 units. Okay, then plus, out of 2 parts, Fatima use half, so you're left with 1 part. Make sense? Okay, so once again, 5 minus 3 give us 2, and 2 minus 1 give us 1. So you plus together, why do you plus? Because they are left all together, right? All together means plus plus. And the total left is equal to 4, 5, 2. There we go, right? So we have two equations to solve for two unknowns. Alright, so how do we find the units and parts? There are multiple ways of continuing from here. Alright, but for me, I think the most direct method is to make the parts the same. Okay, so let's times two over here. Okay, let's make the parts the same. We get four units plus two parts equals to uh, 452 times two is uh, 904. Okay, and now if you look at the parts, right? One is a minus and one is a plus. Okay, so question, do we take equation one minus this equation or do we take equation one plus this equation? The answer is do a, we do a plus. Okay, why do we do a plus? Because minus two part plus two part will be zero. Right, the parts will be gone. Can you follow me? Okay, if you are not too sure, please uh, download the ebook, right, which I give out for free in the description below because I actually go through more in more details about how to use units and parts to solve a similar type of question. Alright, so once again we do a plus. So 5 plus 4 gives us 9 units. 320 plus 904 will give us uh, 1224. Okay, so 1 unit will be 1, 2, 2, 4 divided by 9. If you press your calculator, you should get uh, 1, 3, 6. Alright, so that's our 1 unit. And remember, right, the question asks for Fatima, right? Okay, so we know that Fatima bought 2 parts of the green stickers. Okay, we need to find 2 parts instead. Okay, so to find 2 parts, you can take 9, 0, 4, minus away 4 units. Correct? Because you want to find two parts. So two parts will be 904 minus 2 times 136. Okay, you should get 
360, right? You can press your calculator. Okay, so basically, Fatima brought 360 green stickers, okay, because that's two parts. And to find the total number of stickers that she buy, you have to take 13, okay, times the number of blue stickers in each packet, which is uh, 15 again, can you see? You take 13 times 15, okay, so you take 13 times 15, which is a blue sticker, then plus 360, which is the green stickers. Alright, so if you press the calculator, you should get a very nice answer of 555, five, five, okay, triple 5. Alright, so let's summarize uh, what we have covered so far in this, uh, in this video. So we have already summarized that not all questions are suitable to use model drawing, okay. Your child actually needs to identify the right method to use to solve the question more effectively and more efficiently. And the trick to identify the right method is to look at the keywords in this question and actually, based on the keywords, think of the concept to use and from there, your child will be able to identify the right method.